Good morning. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. To celebrate this feast day, the Annunciation of our Lord, in a worthy manner, let us call to our mind all our sins and failures, and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, the heart's Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. We pray the glory together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Agash, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. It will be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Agash answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Psalm 40, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Glory and praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Nine months from now on, we will be celebrating the Christmas. So the Feast of Annunciation is today, March 25th, so counting from now, so nine months we look forward to celebrate Christmas. So the Feast of Annunciation falls during this, uh, in the mid middle of the Lenten season more of uh, always. Well, in today's uh, Gospel, Mary asked this question, I'm sure most of us have reflected on this question so many times. And Mary asked the angel, 
How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? How it is possible? Remember also, the disciples of Jesus also asked this question. In the desert, in the wilderness, as Jesus, people came to listen to Jesus and they were tired, they were hungry. And Jesus said, you know, feed the, these people. And there were so many thousands of people there and the disciples said, where can we provide food? How can we provide food for all these people? What we have is five loaves and two fish, that's all we have. How it is possible? How can, how are we going to be? Uh, how are we going to manage? How are we going to food, give the food to these people? Mary asked this one, how can this be? You know, how can this be? I have no relationship with a man. When we meet, come in the face of crisis, when we face crisis in our own life, we ask all these questions. How it is going to be? How are we going to manage the whole situation? And how am I going to come out of this situation? Right now, in the minds of so many of us in, around the world is going on this question. When this virus is going to end? How it is going to end? Will it come back again? In what form and how? And is this a stay at home order? Is it going to help? Or what about the children, uh, teenagers who are let loose, going around uh, telling that I have my strong immune system and go around, I am not going to be affected. But we know that some, they go back and give help to their grandmas and grandpas and infecting them. So how this government rule, stay at home, is going to stop this virus spreading? Or we have the question of uh, how this nation is going to come back from this uh, fall in the economic crisis. Trillions of dollars need to be taken out, to sent out to the people and re rescue so many industries throughout. How are we going to come out of this situation? How long it is going to take? So when we meet crisis in our own life or when we face a crisis like this, we have these genuine questions that are coming to our mind repeatedly. And this question of Mary was so genuine and she asked, how is it possible that I don't have a relationship with a man? And the assurance and the angel, the Lord giving the uh, angel assurance is also a model for us. Do not worry, God will take care. Do not worry, trust in God. The angel is in inviting. Of course, Mary always trusted in God. When the angel greeted her, uh, she was already full of grace. It's not at the moment of greeting she was filled with the grace. Right from her birth, on, from, right from her uh, conception onwards, she was always filled with the grace of God. So that's why the salutation, the angel tells it, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. So she was always full of grace, not at the moment of Annunciation when angel greeted her. And so in all this, when she, was, she always obeyed God, now she is asking for clarification. How am I going to be? And the angel gives once again the assurance, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. God, in other words, God will take care, do not worry. So her questions repeatedly asking that question also is, uh, demands on the part of Mary such a lot of commitments. She knew what it is going to imply, what it means. And so uh, she asked the question, but then the angel told her, trust in God. So she becomes a model of our life as well. How are we going to come out of this situation? Will there be an end to it? How long it is going to last? How are we going to come out of this financial crisis in the world, in our country and every small business? All those things we can ask, but then God gives us the assurance and the angel is inviting us to trust in, the, in God. Trust in God. The Holy Spirit will guide us and strengthen us. And so Mary surrendered herself to God. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. 
So whatever crisis that we face right now, this is the one that, this is the prayer that we need to tell and pray, Lord, here I am. Here we are as a nation, as a family, as an individual, we surrender ourselves to your plan. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now we place all our prayers and petitions. We pray for our Pope Francis. Today especially he has asked every one of us to lift up our hands and to pray the prayer, Our Father, at noon. And so I invite you all uh, to do that. And we pray for the intention of our Pope Francis and uh, all the leaders of the church. Uh, the church may continue to strengthen all the people who are going through the crisis in life right now. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the leaders of the world that their effort to end this uh, pandemic, the coronavirus, may come to fulfillment. We pray to the Lord. Um, Lord, we pray prayer. We pray for all those people who are affected by the coronavirus and or people who are facing quarantine. and people who are at high risk of developing the disease. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray prayer. We pray for all the medical professionals, all the doctors, nurses, caregivers, people who are working in the research, responsible for fighting the new coronavirus for their safety and well-being. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray prayer. For the leaders responsible for making decisions about the coronavirus and for all the families adjusting to new ways of life here at home, the children, grandchildren, with the spouses. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray prayer. We pray for all the business owners and families facing financial crisis. We pray for the store workers and delivery drivers. We pray to the Lord. Um, Lord, we pray. We pray.
pray for all those who have gone before us. In particular, we pray for Richard Trappers for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all the intentions that we hold within the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we thank you for listening to all our prayers and petitions. Bless each and every one of us. And through the powerful intercession of Mary, our mother, may we face this crisis that we have and we ask your strength that we may have the strength of the mother to surrender ourselves to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice on your side this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. For the Lord shall be for my iniquities and friends. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice of your hands. hands. For the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, May rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations to be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of you. O Son of the Highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall. 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, in your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Richard, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. For the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of our the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
in this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us for a Savior too. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the King who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my room, but only you say a word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. For those of you who are virtually participating in this Mass, please join me in praying the silence of your heart, silence of your hearts. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, my God, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in Holy Communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it. Sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Amen. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, because of Holy Communion, we feel within us a new strength. We are no longer weak and faltering, but strong with the strength that is not ours but yours, not human but divine. We thank you for coming into our hearts. Lord, we humbly implore you to grant your special graces to our family. Gift us with the compassion to better understand each other, wisdom and love to assist each other, and trust and patience to live peacefully together. Grant that through the intercession of your mother, Mary, and Saint Joseph, our family may become a holy family, accepting each other, working together in unity, selflessly dedicated to one another and to you. 
bless all the members of our spiritual family in the church by following the example of the holy family in mutual love and respect may we come to the joy of our home in heaven amen let us pray confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith we pray O lord so that confessing that he who was conceived of the virgin mary is true god and true man we may through the saving power of his resurrection merit to attain eternal joy through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. I invite you all to join me in praying the Rosary today at 7 o'clock. And tomorrow, I will not be live streaming the Mass tomorrow, but we will be back on Friday. Thank you. And so we end this one uh, with him to Mother Mary Hail Queen. Hail Holy Queen.